All right, we got uh, Incredible Hulk 102 here. This I didn't uh, pulled it out of the bag. I was looking at my reader's copy of the Incredible Hulk 102. I do have an upgraded copy. Yes, this is a CGC 7.0. Bought it for about $280. Um, some of these go for quite a bit of money, so I'm, ke I'm keeping it uh, in the in the bag. Anyhow, uh, you can tell that this one is a 1.0 because there's a big section missing out of there, but you would assume that it could be restored, you know. This isn't even eligible for restoration anymore, and I'll tell you why. Let's go inside the book. You're seeing some of the... Th this is supposed to be like a mystery to a lot of people until they actually buy it themselves. But um, I was looking through the book just recently, if I can get to that damn page, I mean, it's just a reader's copy, but I've got it. I'm holding the camera at the same time. If we go to here, you can tell that uh, there's some missing pages. <laughs> In fact, there's a lot of missing pages. In fact, um, it looks like pages 12. I think it out. Looks like page 12 to 14 is missing. What the hell? So I contacted the seller about it. That's a cool scene, isn't that? Is that neat? This is from actually from uh, 102. I have uh, Tales Astonish 101, 100, and I'm working on getting an entire run of Incredible Hulk, but this particular page missing the pages missing here uh, makes the book absolutely worthless even though it is a reader's copy beautiful cover I love this cover you know Dr. Donner is changing back to himself ah! look how big his fists are there compared to his body when he changes back um, but that missing piece there kind of uh, destroys the book you know even though it's, you know, it should just be a reader's copy. And uh, now, it's, it's kind of like, you know, a mystery there of what the, what's the inside. So I looked online to check and see what, you know, what the rest of the page was, page was about. So I don't have to crack open this copy. Um, you know, Good Art by Herb Trimpey, who did uh, the, the Hulk books for a while. And it seemed that his art got kind of progressively uh, worse as it went along. I mean, if, if you look at 154, his art looks di way different than it did before. Um, let me see here. Marty Severin. Yeah, Mar Maurice Severin. I'm sorry. Severin did some good artwork. Uh, he did also did the Incredible Hulk uh, annual number one as well. But now the book is totally worthless, and uh, we're going to have to return it to the comic book bag because uh, even though it's in my collection and I do have an upgrade, the book is uh, basically not worth anything now. <laughs> it's just basically a reader's copy. So I can't get it restored, and I contacted the seller, and we'll see what happens. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to buy this cruddy issue, <laughs> Go buy it yourself. Um, thanks. For better.